Hello and welcome to this tutorial on making this macrame bracelet. So this is a um, four strand macrame bracelet. It comes in, you can do it in lots of different colours that we've got in the kit. So you, your colour choice is entirely up to you. Your finished product will look exactly the same. So what we need to start with is we need to start with um, five different lengths of, of our cord. So you can choose different colours, you can use the same colour, it's entirely up to you. The first piece of cord that we need to cut is a 50 centimetre cord which will become our lazy strand. So this strand will attach to your macrame board at the top and at the bottom and then just sit right in the middle so this one is your lazy strand. Now the next four pieces that we're going to cut, I'm going to do two different colours but again like I say it's entirely up to you which colours you choose but you need four strands that are two metres long. So they're quite long strands to work with, but as you go down the macrame bracelet, you'll find that it gets a, you know, it's a lot easier to, to handle. So I'm going to take my first piece of cord, and each of these have to be attached exactly the same way. So I'm going to take them through the lazy strand and tie an overhand knot to secure in place. If you're using two different colours, at this point you'll use one colour and then take your next colour underneath so you'll get that, that nice striped look. So again just tie your overhand knot making sure that they sit close up to each other and then just bring them to the side. So my next colour would be my pink strand underneath that lazy cord and tying your knot. And again keep it nice and tight. If at this point the lazy strand goes a little bit loose just pull it a little bit tighter and just fasten it back down and then the fourth one exactly the same so this two meters will make on average um, a seven and a half inch bracelet but your sliding clasp at the bottom uh, which will open and close the bracelet you can make a little bit longer if you want the bracelet to be longer or shorter so i now have all four of my cords attached in place so i'm only going to work on the top set every single time so with these three at the bottom I'm just going to bring them slightly down and out of the way so I don't get confused which ones I'm working with. You can, if you want, just slot them into the sides so that you, they're, they're more secure. But just making sure that all those knots stay together. Now taking my top pair of cords, I'm going to bring it over the top of all the three cords on my right hand side. And before I start, I'm going to pop a little knot on each of the right hand side um, cords just so it reminds me which side I'm going to work at. The macrame square knot is made up of two different knots so the right hand side and the left hand side so I'm just going to go through and pop a knot on either side and again like I said that will help me just to create these knots and know which side I'm working on. So take my top strand on the right bring it down over my strands on the left and create a letter P taking the top strand from the left hand side, bringing that over the top of all four cords. We're looking at this little bridge in the bottom here. So where the two cords cross over. So these are our working cords. This is my lazy cord. So where the lazy cord and the working cord cross over, I'm gonna pop the end of my first top cord through into that loop and pull. And this is going to create the first knot. And as you can see, it's starting to enclose those four overhand knots at the top. So that's the start of my bracelet. I'm then going to take the same side. So now the strands that were on the top are now on the bottom because I've started working with them. So I'm now going to use again these two strands exactly the same. This time making a letter Q. Bring in the right hand strand of my working cord over the top looking for the bridge where they cross over, so underneath the bridge, into the loop, and pull nice and tight. And at this point, we don't want to pull it really tight, so we're going to distort these knots. So we just need to keep it nice nice and, and tight, so you, you can feel it grip, if you like. And now I'm going to just secure those two cords in the side there, just so they can stay out of the way. So my next knot now, again, I'm always looking at the top, Pair. So if you're using different colours, if you're using alternate colours, it's the next colour that you're looking for. So bringing this down again over the top of all of your working cords on the right hand side. And we know it's the right side that we're using because we've got the little knot on the end. Bringing it down over to create your letter P. 
Take the left hand strand, bring that all the way down again, over the top of all four strands, looking for the little bridge. So we're going to go underneath the bridge into the loop and pull tight. So we're now going to create the knot so it's going to sit now underneath the previous pink knot. So again, we're still working on these cords because each knot has got two stages to it. So we've done one stage, we're now going to create the other stage. And I know which side I need to work on because again, that's the one with my knot in. So you're always doing your, your P or your Q with the side with the knot in it. Bring in the, the right hand str uh, strand sorry, over the top of the left hand underneath the bridge and into the loop and pull. So you can see how these knots now are starting to create. If there's little gaps, you can always just push it up with your finger. That's no problem. So again, taking that strand and popping that down onto the side so it's out of the way. I'm now going to take my next strand. So just making sure, taking the time just to sort out your strands, just to make sure that you're looking for the correct strands all the time. So just pop those in. So again, now I'm taking my top strands and bring the right hand down to make the letter P, bring the left hand down over all four, under the bridge and through the loop and pull. And again, the same strands, still, still working on the same strands, make the letter Q over the top of your left hand strand, under the bridge and into the loop and pull tight. So you're going to carry on doing these knots all the way down, making sure you're always using the very top strands. Like I say, just take the time just to attach them in. So my next strands are my two green strands. So you would carry on going till you get right to the very end of your bracelet. So I've got one here that I've created. So I've created about five inches of this, of this actual um, knots. And I've got now left at the end a lot of um, the threads to sort of tie off and get rid of. So I'm just going to move that one out of the way. I'm now going to attach in this one just to show you how to get rid of all these little ends because we only want to be left with our working strand at the bottom. So just attaching that one into there so you can see how it's, it creates quite a nice wide um, macrame bracelet. So I've taken my first strands and I've done exactly the same. I've done my first square stitch and then I've done just an overhand knot. Before I cut these strands off, I need to make sure that they're going to be secured with a little dab of glue. So you can use a little dab of glue, um, something like a super glue is fine, or a, a silicon based glue, or if you haven't got any glue, just a little bit of clear nail varnish. So I'm just going to pop on a little bit of glue and then I can cut those two strands. I would prefer to let them dry, but just a few minutes to let that dry and then cut these strands, so this first strand away. And we can cut that a little bit closer when it's properly dried. And then to get the next strands out, we're going to do exactly the same, do our square knot one side and then the other. So over the bridge, underneath that bridge and through the loop and pulling it nice and tight. So we're starting to encapsulate that knot that we've already just cut off around, making our letter Q and through. So we've created the square stitch. So with the pink, the pink is now down at the bottom. Before I can cut this off, I'm just going to tie an overhand knot just to finish it off. So just an overhand knot and pull nice and tight. And then again, this is where I would glue and cut these strands off. So you would do that with all four of your strands, so all four areas. Once that's completed, you will have your full bracelet completely done from the top to the bottom. But we need to put the actual sliding clasp on. So if I just turn this bracelet around so you can see how this bracelet is um, done up, you can see on the back here, so there's no actual fastening at all. It's got another section of the square knot. So this is just a simple square knot that we're going to do now. And it only takes one cord. And the way that it opens and closes is you just pull it either side. And then to tighten, just pull the lazy cord again to tighten the bracelet up. So 
I'm just going to take the bracelet off of this board and I'm just going to cut these out of the way just so we don't get confused with how many cords we've got left over. Okay. So now I'm going to take the bracelet to the edge corner of the board here. So I'm now looking at this lazy strand that we had before. So the two blue um, pieces of cord, all I'm going to do is put my bracelet underneath the corner of the board, bring one side of my lazy cord down and just hook it in and bring the other side of the lazy strand up and hook it in again. So I've now secured both strands onto my board. Okay. So now, in effect, like before, we've still got our working strands and our lazy strands, but these now are going to be my lazy strands. I'm taking a section of cord that you can then, again, about 50 centimetres long is absolutely fine. So I'm now going to take my cord and I'm going to attach it onto both lazy strands with my overhand knot exactly the same as when we attached all four at the beginning. And I now can start doing my simple macrame square knot. So again, exactly the same, make the letter P, bring it over the top, underneath the bridge and through the loop and pull tight and then do the other side of the knot exactly the same under the bridge and through the loop and pull tight so you would do this for about five stitches so about five macrame square knots is plenty to, to create a nice sliding clasp and again then you would finish it off exactly the same as you have done with your glue or your clear nail varnish and just dab that onto the ends before you cut those those few um, last two working strands off. So with this this sliding stitch here by by just using one cord we can actually in effect make a, a separate bracelet all by itself just using this one sing, single stitch so you can use the macrame square knot all the way down your lazy strand to create your, your feature bracelet as well. So I've now got just three stitches there. So you just do a couple more stitches. Before you can um, sort of wear this bracelet, what you need to do is take it off of the board, take your two lazy strands. So my working, sorry, my um, slider knot now is over the top of both of my lazy strands. So to stop this falling off of the actual strand itself, I'm just going to take my blue lazy strand and tie a knot in the end so that when I slide the clasp along the bracelet to make it larger or smaller, it's not going to fall off the end. So now I can slide that bracelet all the way up and then to close it, just pull both knots. And what you'll have when you've finished is a beautiful bracelet of the colour of your choice.